Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today I'm going to show you Content Control Plugin. Uh, and I was working on a WordPress site the other day and I, I needed to restrict just one page uh, to a certain user role or, or actually just logged in users for this particular site. And I didn't want a membership plugin. I wanted something lightweight that I could just, even if I had short codes, I just wanted to just find something super lightweight. And I came across Content Control. And uh, it, I'll tell you, it has done a fantastic job. You can find it by uh, going to wordpress.org slash plugins slash content hyphen control, 10,000 active installs, 103 five-star reviews. I took a look at some of the support questions here. There were there are some open questions of, of people saying it didn't work with the re recent update. It's working fine for me. Uh, certainly test it out first before you deploy it on a live site. And it's pretty refined. And I was like, wow, who's behind this? It's the folks over at Pop-Up Maker, which is one of the most popular uh, pop-up plugins for WordPress, code-atlantic.com. So they know what they're doing when it comes to building out uh, WordPress plugins. Today's tutorial will be very short. If we go to this all pages, I have this private page. So this could be any page, post, custom post type, lots of things you can lock down. Uh, and, you know, I was working on a site where somebody wanted to have board members log in and get some uh, schedules that they could download for the next meetings and meeting notes from the previous meetings, right? So it might be in a table format like this. And once the plugin is installed uh, and activated, we go to settings, content control, and I have this right here. This is for board members. And if we edit this, you can see that you first title what this restriction is called. So this is for board members, right? This is just a way to keep you, uh, or keep it in your memory of exactly what this is locking down. Uh, who can see this content? Of course, logged in users or logged out users. Which roles can see this content? So this is where you can lock it in. And uh, right now I have it for administrators and subscribers. And if you forget to put administrators, when you go to that page, it will actually log you out uh, as an admin or won't give you access to it. So you definitely want to check off administrator uh, and whichever user role that you are trying to lock it down. And the most basic user role or any registered user on WordPress is the sub subscriber uh, user role. So definitely make sure you have that checked off. And then the protection. How do you want to uh, choose how to protect your content? So you can have a custom message in there, which I'll show you in a moment. Or you can have it redirect automatically to the login page. In other words, when people go to that board page I showed you before, uh, I could show a custom message or I could just simply redirect them to a login page. Uh, where will they be taken? Login, homepage, or custom URL. So a lot of flexibility there. You can do many things uh, with this kind of lockdown. And then the content that you actually want to lock down. Uh, for me, it's just a selected page. And I can put in any page. There's only three pages on this demo site. But I put in that private page, which is what I had before. And you can do or and and. Uh, is a selected page, a post, a post with an ID, a category, a blog index. I mean, pretty much everything inside of WordPress, certain tags and categories um, can be locked down and very powerful, very minimal in terms of setting it all up and very powerful uh, when you need to, uh, to use it. So if we just hit update, we'll go into that page one more time. Uh, we'll view it because we can, because we're admins. Uh, but if I were to copy this and go into private window, you can see here, as soon as I try to get it in or try to access that page ID, I can't. It goes right to this login. Let's go back to the options, settings, content control, edit, protection. We'll say custom message, um, override the default message. I already have a default message set in there, but let's just put in this is locked down to plugin to users. Hit update, save changes. Go back, refresh this, or actually paste this in again. There it is. There's our, our message. This is locked down to plugin to users. So, uh, very simple. Very. And one of the things I do like is you can actually have priorities by dragging and dropping this too. So if you wanted to stack certain permissions, uh, you could do that as well. This is the default denial message right here. So this is the one I just overrode in those options. Um, but I like it uh, for some somebody who's looking to quickly lock down a page or even a couple of pages with user admins uh, or user roles, I should say, with your admins. Um, this plugin really, really does the trick. Um, you know, if you're building out a full-fledged membership site, I mean, hey, I guess you could do it, right? It's not going to have all of the membership 
uh, capabilities like email capture, e-commerce, uh, digital download, like all this stuff. But for just controlling the content access to a site, it works really, really well. Content control. Thumbs up if you like the video. Share it with your friends and family if you want more. Subscribe to the channel, actually, if you want more. Leave me a comment in the comments below. All right. We'll see you in the next video.